Welcome to our third video in this series of online registration. This particular video will demonstrate to you how to enroll new students in our, into our district in Coffee County Schools. As you know, a new student is one who does not have any enrollment history in Coffee County Schools whatsoever. In this case today, Peggy Hill and Hank Hill are going to enroll their two students into Coffee County Schools. They will have Bobby Hill, who is in grade five, and Lou Ann Platter, who is Peggy and Hank's niece, into grade 11. This will also give us a perfect opportunity to discuss custody arrangements and how to handle custody issues in synergy, as Hank and Peggy actually have custody of their niece, Lou Ann. So let's begin. You will see the website to access the new student online registration at the bottom of the page in this video. See the link. We will click on create a new account. And you can see the very first question is, has the student you are registering ever attended Coffee County Schools? We're going to say no and continue. If you have one or more students already enrolled in the district, you need to use your existing Parent View account. That's a warning for you in case you fall into that situation. In this case, you are not falling into this situation as the Hills do not have any of their children ever enrolled in our district. So we're going to accept. And we're going to create the account. Now, gentlemen, we know that um, the mothers typically are the ones that complete the registration. So we're going to go ahead and give them the respect there and go ahead and say that Peggy, Peggy Hill, is the one that's starting this. And her email address, we're just going to put Arlen Realty at Gmail. Dot com and confirm that because Peggy works for Arlen Realty. We're going to type the characters in the picture just as we see them and then continue. As you can see, Synergy did send the link to activate the email to my Arlen Realty at gmail.com because that's Peggy's email. So we're going to click on it and open it up. And then we're going to click here to complete the process. And at this point, I'm going to decide what my user ID is going to be. So she's going to use Peggy and Hank. That's going to be the user ID. And the password is just simply, we're going to make this real easy. She's going to make her password be Hank Hill. Hank Hill. Save and continue. And now she's ready to begin her packet and she's going to click new student and begin, begin, the, re begin the registration. We have the welcome information for new parents. And parents, you're going to need the uh, birth certificate or proof of birth, either one. The Social Security card is also optional. It does help us. We do not share that with anyone. Immunization records are required. If you're new to our state, you can go to the local health department and they will place your immunization records on the Tennessee form free of charge to you. We will need two proofs of legal residency within the district. If you're new to the district, once you've set up utilities, that would count. If you're new to our district and you might be living with someone else or renting and you don't actually own the property, your school registrars have what is called a, a residency affidavit form and your landlord and yourself will get that notarized. 
Your school registrars are notaries and they can assist you with that. Um, a driver's license, you can update your driver's license. Uh, that's free of charge. You can do that through the state website and simply print, um, print out your new address, your new registration. That would count. That would help us out. That's a, that would give you two proofs of residency. Um, if you've got a bank statement with your new uh, address, any kind of insurance card, if you receive any kind of government assistance, all of these documents can help you with uh, proving your legal residency within our district. Then if you have a custody or a parenting plan, and in Tennessee for the past several years, it's basically called a parenting plan. That's what custody is. And we would need a copy of that provided to the school. The most important piece of that is who the residential parent is and also that it be signed by a judge. Those are just some very important pieces of information to help you and make the registration process as smooth and seamless as possible. You may always also reach out to your school registrar and then if they need any further assistance or any further clarification, you perhaps may be referred to my office at the central office and then we will be glad to assist you also in trying to help you complete this process. So we will continue on. Um, the next page for new, new parents is just that you must live, you must live within the school boundary to be eligible for these schools. The temporary online registration school, I'm going to show you in just a few minutes because I have chosen an address for the Hills that will be, um, that will put one of them in the temporary online school. Now I'll go ahead and click continue. This page will populate when you have students enrolled in our system. And we're going to go Peggy Hill, save and continue. Now, we're going to go ahead and put in our address. And the Hills live at 8788 Doak. Road, which is just RD, and that's going to be in Manchester, Tennessee, 37355. We're going to save this, and that is correct. Peggy Hill, she's not, you don't have to fill out all of the rest of this. And we're going, she's going to put in her phone number. This is her mobile number. She's going to be 931, we're going to say 581, and we're going to say 9876. And there's her email address. And Peggy used to be in the reserve military, so she's going to check that. This is, again, a very important piece of information. She was in the reserve military at one time, and she still is. This next piece is called the Tennessee Parent Occupational Survey. It's very important, and you must complete it. She's not been any temporary jobs, and they've not moved in the last three years. Save, and save and continue. Now, we're going to add at this point, we're going to add a new parent and guardian, because she's going to add her husband, Hank. So we're going to put Hank Hill. And his address is the same. 
and we're going to give his mobile number. She's going to say 931-581-1234. And his email address is going to be Hank Hill at Strickland Propane dot com. And Hank is also in the National Guard. So he's going to check that. Peggy knows that. He must also complete the Tennessee Parent Occupational Survey. No, he has not. And no, they have not moved, which is fine. And save and continue. No more parents, so they are good. They're going to save and continue. Now they're going to add an emergency contact. So the first one is going to be Nancy Gribble. It's going to be an emergency contact for them. You don't have to fill all of this in at all. Save it, but you do need to give her phone number. So she's going to be 931 728 one, two, three, four, and save. And we'll add one more emergency contact, and we're going to say that this time her emergency contact is going to be Dale Gribble, and we're going to give him a mobile phone number of 931. Uh, we'll say uh, 434, and we'll go 6666. Save and continue, and that's complete. Now, this time we're going to add the new student. She's got several, she's got two to add. The first one is going to be Bobby. I don't know if Bobby had a middle name or not. I never remember one in the series. We'll, we'll give him a, let's give him a middle name. Let's say Bobby Henry, since we've got, since his dad's name is Hank, we'll call him Henry, Bobby Henry. And Bobby's birth date is April 1, 2011. The nice thing about Synergy, and I'm going to put this in again, you can just simply go 04012011. His entering grade, Bobby is going into the fifth grade. His primary address is going to be 87. It's going to be the same one that Hank and Peggy use. So you didn't have to put it in. It just dropped down Peggy Hill and Hank Hill. 8788 Dope Road. We'll save and continue that. His birth country, Bobby was born in the United States. Bobby was born in Texas. He was born in Arlen. And he has a birth certificate. And Bobby's social security number, Hank and Peggy don't know it. We'll just leave it. We'll leave it alone right now. She may be able to bring the card to the school a little bit later. That's fine. Parents, if you don't know it, that's fine. If you find the card a little bit later, you can bring it to the school. We don't have to have this as stated before. Mother's maiden name, Peggy's maiden name was Platter. And we'll save and continue. The present place of residency is within the Coffee County limits. Yes, it is. The address of the nighttime residency is 8788 Dope Road. And it'll be nice if I can spell it correctly. Let's try this again. And they live in a house. Save and continue. Bobby does not need child care. There is no custody or plan, a parenting plan in effect for Bobby and no restraining orders. Oh, we'll say no. Good. We did it. And Bobby is white. And he's non-Hispanic. Now the language survey, parents, this will come up always the first time you enroll a student, this will not come up again. This is only done one time, and um, this is done at the first time you enroll. So Bobby learned English, 
and speaks English, they speak English at home, English, and Bobby does not receive ESL services. Parents, you do not have to put physician or dentist information in. You can if you want to. In this case, we're going to skip. And this is a message to all parents. If your student requires medications to be given at school, you'll have to contact the school nurse. We don't enter these into our um, online registration system. You must contact the school nurse for this. Save and continue. Now Bobby has some health conditions. We're going to tell them that Bobby has he has adjustment disorders, and let's just say that that started at birth. And we're going to say that Bobby has uh, let's see, we all know Bobby's obese. Bobby has obesity. And let's just say that started about a few years ago. We'll just make up a date. Uh, 2015. Okay. Oops. I made it. Yeah. And we'll save and continue. Photo is permitted. The student is authorized to use the internet. They're a military family, so yes, they want him to be contacted. They do have internet at home. Uh, we'll say that they have, we'll say they have satellite internet, and he has, he has devices. And they are giving permission to use all our online applications, save and continue. Has Bobby ever been tested for special services? Oh yes, he has. And he has and he and he does participate in special services, special needs children. There's nothing wrong with that. Peggy Hill is the mother. Hank Hill is the father. And contact is allowed. Naturally they can be released to. And this is where the parent can check all of these boxes. And we will save and continue. Nancy Gribble is a friend, and Dale Gribble is a friend, and yes, Bobby can be released to them, and this is the order that they want to be contacted. Previous schools Bobby has attended. Parents, if you want to put this, this would be fine. We're going to say that he attended Arlen Elementary. in Arlen, Texas. And he was in the fourth grade there. And he attended that in 2020. Save and continue. Now, Bobby's home address is 8788 Dope Road. The school selection for Bobby came up as North Coffee. Now, everyone in Coffee County basically knows that North Coffee at Dope Road is in the city limits. So the school selection, the school selection here, the system did default to North Coffee. Don't worry about where the online system defaults the uh, student to because we will manage that um, on a di at a district basis. But it did, let's just say, for instance, that instead of North Coffee, the parents really thought that Bobby was supposed to attend Hickerson Elementary. But we will, the district, again, as I said, the district will take care of that if there's any kind of discrepancy. But I do want all parents to understand that are new to our district Addresses are set in our 
synergy program through our mapping to place you at the appropriately zoned school that your child lives. If there are exceptions to that, then you uh, contact the registrar at the school and they can direct you to filling out a, an out of zone waiver and they will help you with that. And also our out of zone waivers are located on our main webpage at coffeecountyschools.com. We'll go ahead and save and continue. And right here, we have to view these policies and you must click and download them and then view them in order to complete the registration. Save and continue. And then we need to add one more student. And the first name is going to be Lou Ann. Um, we will just say uh, Lou Ann Jean and Flatter. Female. And Lou Ann's date of birth is 0303 2005. She's going to the 11th grade. And her primary address is with Hank and Peggy. Save and continue. She was born in the United States. She was also born in Texas. She was also born in Ireland. They do have a birth certificate. <clears throat> they may provide that later. And Lou Ann's mother's maiden name was also Platter. Lou Ann's mother and Peggy's are sisters. Now, that is, they are in the Coffee County limits. The nighttime residency is 8788 Doak Road. And the description is a house. Save and continue. Lou Ann does not need child care. So we'll save and continue. Now, this part is extremely important. There is a custody plan in place for Lou Ann but there are no restraining orders. Luann is non-Hispanic and English was the language and she does not have ESL. We'll skip over the physician. Again, the medication is the same. Uh, <clears throat> We will say that Lou Ann has no health conditions. And then we're going to go through the same thing. Photo is permitted. She's authorized to use the internet. They do want her to talk to the military. She does have internet at home. It is satellite. And she does have her own device. So we'll save and continue there. She is allowed to do this, save and continue. She has not been in any special education programs. Now, this is her aunt, and Hank is her uncle. But contact is allowed. Hank also has custody and ed rights to her. And we will save and continue. The Gribbles are friends, and you can release Luann to them. There's the contacts. Luann went to Arlen High in Arlen, Texas. She was in the 10th grade in the 2021 school. Save and, and then she's going to be placed at Coffee County Central High School. We'll save and continue. You must view the documents for each student.
save and continue. There are no more students to add. So we're going to continue on. Now, we're new to the district. Parents, you have the ability to upload your documents to the online registration system. You can do that um, by if you have if you want to scan your documents into your email or if you want excuse me into your computer and upload them, that's fine. Or if you want to bring them to school for a hard copy, that is fine too. So we're going to say that the Hills are going to deliver hard copies to the school to verify their address. All new parents will have to provide two proofs of residency, and we discussed examples of those earlier in the video. Bobby's birth certificate, she'll deliver, or birth, rec or birth record, or proof of birth, either one, and also a mother's copy is an acceptable birth certificate document. Immunization forms, she'll deliver. The parent driver's license, each school will make a copy only of your driver's license. They, we will not keep your driver's license. Again, we will only make a copy. And that will be done at the school. She'll deliver, and again, we're saying that she's going to deliver all of these to the school. The social security card, if you have it, it's fine. If you don't, that's fine. Custody papers will have to be um, not checked because Bobby doesn't have custody papers. Lou Ann, she's going to deliver all of these also. And she will deliver the custody papers on Lou Ann. Again, let me say this about custody papers. They must designate the residential parents. In this case, it's going to be the Hills, Hank and Peggy Hill. And it must also be signed by a judge. That makes all the custody legal. Save and continue. You're ready to review. And then you simply review everything that you have submitted. And once you do that, you've agreed to it, the registrars will receive your registration in their queue. The school registrar will review your registration. They will make contact with you and reach out to you, explaining to you what documents and what documentation that they need. Um, again, you may start this beginning July 20th of 2022 this year if you are new to our district. And again, the registrars, they will contact you for additional information if needed. If you upload all of the required information, you will receive an email from the school to the emails on the on the registration system, welcoming you to Coffee County Schools and telling you that your registration has been accepted. Again, if there is any outstanding documentation to be submitted to the schools, they will contact you before the registration is deemed complete. We hope, sincerely hope, that these videos will help you in completing all of your online registration. Please be sure to visit coffeecountyschools.com on the main web page. Beginning in early July, you will see an updated instruction sheet for the 22-23 school year outlining steps and procedures for you to take to complete online registration. Thank you again.